Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just to let you uh, show you what I'm up to tonight here. Uh, it'll probably be a few part series here that uh, what I'm doing. I'll just uh, get you in on it and then you can see what I'm doing. So, Okay, you guys might have remembered this coyote from uh, my tanning video. This is what it is. Here's the uh, underbelly from it. A beautiful underbelly. But what happened was uh, we got some mites here that uh, chewed off, so we didn't send it to auction because of the fact of it wouldn't bring anything. And it was classified as a damaged pelt. So, anyways, <clears throat> there's no way I was gonna not do something with this uh, beautiful animal because this is a high quality nice silver coyote here so anyways so we picked up this here secret of the Eskimo skinning and sewing so uh, from uh, Edna Wilder so anyways uh, Edna has got a heck of a book here on uh, sewing so I'm gonna make this here hat here there it is right there you guys can see it I, I won't have this here but uh, it's gonna more or less look like this uh, so I got the pattern all cut out I'll show you guys here here's the uh, patterns side back and the ear flaps so uh, that uh, they're all here uh, traced them out right from uh, Edna's book here from the skin sewing and uh, I really like the pattern because of the, the way it looked eh? so uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so I'm going to do uh, fur in and skin out so as you can see the skin the tan skin will be uh, on the out but then I'm going to dye it uh, gonna dye it uh, brown just like Edna's here she might have used the cover but I'm gonna go with the straight uh, I think shoe polish probably would uh, would do the trick to turn it into brown but anyways we'll get to that when it comes to that this section right here is probably gonna be my front which is this part of the uh, of the uh, hat and then the rest is going to be fur in so so what I'll have to do is uh, as I get it figured out on where it's going to go and uh, placing it all over and then marking it right so and there should be enough for, uh, for the whole thing I'm hoping so well, uh, tomorrow night I'm going to start uh, tracing it all out and uh, putting it on from there. So, and then I got some of the underbelly here, but uh, who knows? Maybe uh, we can make it work with something with gloves or something like that. So, as the uh, we continue on with it, I will uh, keep making short videos up on it and uh, going from there and. Uh, and uh, seeing how everybody likes it, I, it's really uh, interesting for me. So uh, I'm gonna see if, if it plans out or not. I'll hopefully, made it big enough for the uh, my head. I got a pretty big noodle, so and uh, if not, uh, maybe it'll fit my wife. So, okay, guys, this is part one, and uh, I'll probably uh, have a series on it, and uh, as it progresses, okay. And I will uh, continue on with uh, probably part two of it or the second uh, part of it. So, okay, we'll uh, talk to you as we start making it. Okay, guys, I, uh, here's what the pattern is. I cut it out to uh, to make sure we have uh, some sort of fit. So I just took these paper clip things, put them all together and this is what the hat is supposed to look like so it's all put together like that 
and uh, that's the way it's going to be. Now, we notice the front seems to be a little bit long because I put it on my head. And uh, so we just pin this up for now. We're going to cut it out of the fur at that height and see. Um, but, uh, and if we have to, then I can just trim it up on the inside because the fur will be out on this one, right? That's what you want to see. And I'll just trim it up on the inside so it clears my eyes. So, so anyways, I uh, thought this would uh, give us a better idea what it's what it's like. So the nice thing about this is uh, when I get it around my head, you can almost use these for uh, wind guard. And uh, I was thinking about making one of those anyways, so that it goes around the bottom of your face for uh, wind guard. So, but anyways, I just thought I'd point that out to you. And uh, as we uh, progress on this situation, I will uh, record more. Okay. I'm uh, uh, cutting the uh, leather off the plate and you kind of got to be gentle so you don't uh, uh, cut kind of square heavy, you know, so it uh, kind of leaves the fur a little bit more round. So if you cut really lots into the fur, it makes it square and then it looks kind of unnatural. So just thought I'd point that out. I used a scalpel, scalpel and uh, it seems to work out well. So this is the uh, front part that's going to be to the fur out on the hat and I ran the coyote hair up uh, so it has a more better look so the fur is actually going up. And when we put the side uh, ear flaps on to also run the hair uh, down so if you flip them up they will be running the same direction as the uh, uh, hair on the front. This is my uh, wife Darlene, she's uh, speedy stitching it here. Uh, so we started in the bottom corner and we work our way up to the top of the hat. We found that uh, works good. You can be out at the top of the hat and you'd never know so then it'd be best the two sides will meet up perfectly even. And uh, the speedy stitch works really really well. So. We use those uh, paper clips to uh, hold the whole hat together as we sew, and we found that really worked out very well. Okay guys, uh, it's all done, the hat, uh, i got a few other things I want to do with it yet, I want to uh, dye it yet, I'm going to dye it uh, black, uh, the leather, and as you can see I wanted leather out, and I wanted this of course, the fur on the front like this, but uh, what I did, I'll just show you on the inside, is uh, I ran fur on the inside. So I used underbelly 
and then uh, some of the on the sides is knocked or whatever and then the front of course is uh, just leather in there but uh, I think it turned out well pretty happy with it I tried doing a little dyeing here uh, didn't turn out the greatest but I'm gonna order a black dye a leather dye for it and I'm gonna do the whole dye as you can see the the uh, jiffy marker green or whatever but it was all uh, sewed together with the speedy stitch turned out real well here there's a little hair coming through there we'll trim that up but uh, as my wife got better you can see at the end here it really worked out well so I'll give a little uh, what it looks like when it's on and the nice thing is it isn't it's still pretty huge but it's not real huge if the hair was out so Okay, so that's what she looks like. Uh, the sides are going to come down like so. I'll probably put a button or something like that in there and uh, to keep them shut. Something in that sort of effect. And uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, really impressed with it actually. So it took about two thirds of a uh, coyote to do it. And uh, uh, really impressed. I think we're going to do a little bit more and I got uh, a little bit more of uh, material left and uh, I'm going to try to make a hat for my wife uh, Darlene there that did all the sewing because she's got a quite a bit of uh, uh, quite a bit smaller head than me right so, so we're going to do that so anyways you guys will probably see it out on one of my checks and uh, like I said it uh, Pretty happy with it. Okay, give you one of those, and uh, yeah, they're pretty warm. So, so uh, yeah, kind of looks furry on the side there, but uh, that's kind of what I was going for for look. But I'm going to be using it uh, on my checks here coming up in a couple days. So, okay, I just thought I'd uh, pass it along. Uh, like I said, uh, some of uh, Edna's uh, stuff could. Uh, do some refining in that book I had there and uh, I think I might finish it off with a strip of material in the back but other than that yeah liking it pretty good like I said I uh, didn't want uh, where the hair is totally out but I think coyote fur is definitely uh, pretty sweet so like I said it uh, turned out well so yeah, and I think it's going to be a super warm hat. So, uh, this weekend on the uh, line, I am going to uh, to try it out. So, uh, this right here, uh, we're going to probably put a strip of fur to the outside so it kind of finishes off this edge here. So, Okay, alrighty guys, uh, we'll let you go and uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, maybe I can answer them and uh we'll go from there okay take care guys